Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Python. Today I'll be showing you how to create timed screenshots. So what this does is this takes a screenshot of your desktop screen and of whatever is on it. So whether you are logging into an account, whether you're just typing into Google or whether you're in your file drives and directories, this will take a screenshot of whatever is on your desktop. So I have to stress this, this is for educational purposes only because um, I can see how this can be used in both good and bad ways. So please do not use it in a bad way. Also, I'll be running through the code with you step by step. I'll actually be writing it with you. And then what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to put it on a timer so you can say, take a screenshot every 10 seconds and what it will do is it will have a new picture every 10 seconds. So what I'll have is the first screenshot will be called screenshot one and it'll be saved as a PNG file. And then the second screenshot will be called screenshot two and so on and so forth. Um, I won't be doing this every 10 seconds because I don't want to wait any, I don't want to wait 10 seconds between each, each um, screenshot. So I'll just be doing a couple of seconds, but you can do whatever you want. So first thing we do is we, uh, so if I zoom in first, first thing we do is import the um, pi auto GUI function or module. And you'll probably need to do the pip install pi, pi auto GUI to get this installed into your um, Python shell. But after you've done that, it should be um, quite straightforward. And um, yeah, it's ready to go. So the next thing I also need to do is import the time module because we want to have this as a timed screenshot. And that is how we do it. And then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, a while true loop. So um, this is running continuously. So we just do that here, type while true, and then everything we do now goes into this while true statement. So the first thing I do is I want to get my screenshot. So I type in s shot equals, and then we type in our pi auto GUI dot, and then we have a list here and screenshot. You see that there? And then that creates our screenshot. The next thing we just do is save our screenshot. And we just type in s shot dot um, save. There we go. And then we need to think of a name to save a file as. Now, this is where we have a problem because if we just have the same name, then the screenshot, the latest screenshot will override the previous screenshot. So what we need is we need to have the name updating every time. And um, what we do, how we do that is we um, create a variable so that the name gets updated to a different name every time. And we do that by just creating a variable. So I have called it x, x equals and then screenshot. And then um, how is it? Plus dot, oh, not that, dot png. So now the screenshot will be saved as screenshot.png every time, but we also need to have that a variable which changes every time. So let's have plus p plus png and we put p equals to one here. And then what we have here, p equals p plus one. And so what that will do is, or what's going on here, is that will update the p-value here every time a new screenshot is done. And then also, so what that will do is that will continually take a screenshot now. And what you'll find is that will very quickly fill up your drives and your folders. So what we want is we want to have this more controlled and ideally on a timer. So we this is where we have our time module come into play time dot sleep and we're going to have it let's say every two seconds and then don't forget to have pass 
we need the need the pass in there. I can't stress that enough. And then I that is everything. So what you can also do is if you want to include a few print checks, which I highly recommend, is just print X so you make sure your um x values are updating every time and print p so hopefully on your output here you'll see a um, updated p and x values as you go along as time goes along and then that is ready to run so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you where the screenshots will be saved so this is in date order so our screenshots will straight away go to the top here whenever they're taken and so let's run it. So, so let's run, run it. it. Oh, what's happened here? So, so ah, yeah. yeah. Something, Something I forgot to do here was, was put, put the p, p as, a as a string. string. So uh, the p value here is a number, but we need to convert that to a string so we can con so we can concatenate it. That's a tough thing to say together. So we can concatenate it into the x variable. So let's run that again. Here we go. So it's screenshot one dot PMG two three and let's go to some other places here. So let's get some screenshots of this. Let's get some screenshots of this. Let's get some screenshots of some Excel. And um let's go back to here. Cool. So let's stop this. And so now if we go to our folder here we have 12 screenshots so let us just go through them so this one was the screen that we had i don't know if you can see that clearly see this is our code here and then if we go a few screenshots in uh, more code here we go here's google remember we went into google for a bit um, where's our WordPress? Hmm. Google again. And the data again. And here's our WordPress, you see? So it just takes whatever's on the screen. So you can see easily how this can be used for um, bad, um, in bad ways, shall we say. Uh, so what can you do with this? So the next steps is maybe you can run a code, you can add a code to this that has it sent to your email address every time a screenshot is done and you can do this through the use of the SMTP lib module and what SMTP is, it's pretty much uh, a, a server where you can communicate with your email address and you'll need to have this um, enabled on your email website so you'll need to go to the website your, your email address is being hosted on and then enable SMTP or another thing you could do is you could load it onto a USB and have the USB automatically run the code and save the files to the USB um, on a timer and then you can just come and collect the USB at a later date so uh, many things you could do with this and um, I really hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Check out my other tutorials and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hey.